Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2023 Jayco J Feather model number 30 QB. Weighs around 7,500 pounds or so. It's got a really interesting living space with the dinette and the couch kind of kitty corner from each other, a separate bedroom with a bathroom off of it, and then a really cool, neat bunk room there at the back outside kitchen just an awesome trailer this is where you end up when you set your gps for awesome i'm here with my friend that dutch bad boy brendan hannemeyer on the camera today say hello brendan how's it going happy campers future campers and fellow sales people thank you so much for tuning into the number one rv youtube channel in the world if you're looking for something with double awnings almost full coverage on this huge unit you found a sweet bunk house for you we got a like and subscribe button you should click those we're on instagram we're on tiktok and we're on facebook having fun on all the platforms producing some sweet reels so you should check that out as well got some awesome music pumping with that stuff enjoy this video right on brendan great intro buddy good looking front fiberglass cap in through here those blue eyebrow lights are going to look hot at the campsite. Big, big fan of those. Love them. We got our nice little spotlights there too. 30 pound propane tanks, bat, uh, our front power jack right in through here. There is a manual override for that. And then you have your battery in a box location in through there. This has got the upgraded solar kit on it, Brenna, with two solar panels on the roof and a built-in inverter. That's an option on this particular one. Pass-through storage going all the way through there to the other side. There's a sneak peek at your inverter. There's your griddle for the outside kitchen. Battery disconnect and then lights on both sides of this pass-through. Manual jacks are the rock solid style jacks, so they're very, very secure. You've got to uh, bring those down though with a drill. Like you don't want to be bringing those down with a handle. We got our black water flush kit, city water connection, sewer drain down in through there. We got our 15 inch Goodyear tires, aluminum rims. Some nice storage here underneath our dinette. Hell, all the doors are held up by magnets, which is super convenient. We got our fridge vent right through here. We've got our bike door or our door into our bunk room right from here. We're gonna get that opened up and you'll see that here when we get inside. Outside shower, 30 anti-attachable style cord, cable satellite inlet, full size spare. We're gonna put that beautiful lazy acre tire cover on there for you. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. There is a prep up there for a backup camera and a pretty killer outside kitchen. When you consider the griddle's gonna come off, where's the griddle gonna go, Brendan? Oh, right here, there's your J port right there. So the griddle's gonna go here. We got our drawer right here. We got our bottle opener, receptacle, USB, two cubic foot electric fridge, sink that's plugged in with a little bit of bonus storage here. Is it plumbed in? Sorry, sorry the hot and cold's plumbed in. The sewer, the, the drain for the sink is not plumbed in. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you for catching me on that, buddy. This is all really well finished off, though, with this nice galvan eel, so it's not going to kind of fall apart as you go down, um, you know, the lifetime of your trailer. And then Brennan's right. We got great awning coverage. Our secondary awning starts here at the back, and right about here, then our main awning starts here, covers the door by a ways, and continues all the way down. LED lights on both awnings, nice secure steps, Asdell construction. We got our outside TV location right through here with an outside receptacle, freshwater fill, furnace vent, and then we had the brand new Furion on demand water heater. I like how this one's lifted a little bit, Brendan, so you can kind of just blow dry your hair when that's running. Now, a couple big door side windows here, too. Let's see what kind of access we got with this thing in travel mode. So first thing you're going to see is you're going to be able to get to your bed quite easily. Going to be able to get to your washroom. The fridge is going to be touch and go though. Let's see how much we can get this thing open. So yeah, I would say about a third of the way. You could reach in here, grab some cold cuts, grab some drinks, and obviously the freezer's accessible. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that 30 QB J Feather. You're standing at the front door there, looking into our living space. We've got the slide open now. I really like this floor plan. We've seen this a lot in uh, a couple of fifth wheels we sell, right Brennan? Yep. Where the couch is kitty corner to our U-shaped dinette. It's really uh, communal, I guess you'd say. I don't know, like you can have a good, nice conversation not just facing away from each other. We got our U-shaped dinette in through here. It's gonna turn into a secondary bed. We got this new kind of table system. 
Uh, it's a really heavy duty system with like the, the table legs themselves are very heavy. Um, covered space here down below on both sides of the U shape. There is a, uh, a drawer here below this fridge. Nice big drawer too, that's awesome to see. 12 volt fridge, that's eight cubic foot. This one has that extra solar package. You can get the lower solar package or you can just not get solar at all. But that's the eight, the eight cubic foot 12 volt fridge. And then the way this is orientated now is, is great. Like it gives you an awesome L shaped style kitchen. Your breakers and your fuses are here. You've got your pop up piece here for a little more counter space. Seamless counters, undermount plastic sink, and a big cupboard right here to put like a shorter garbage can. And then three drawers here uh, for cutlery and such. And then the bigger, the bottom one is a bigger drawer. Pot and pan here, pot and pan drawer here. Blue lights on the oven knobs, the oven itself, glass stove top cover over top of food burner stove top, range hood microwave, and then in the uppers here we're gonna have our plates and our cup action coming right across. In through there. I like this tower of power we got going on with receptacle and USB, and you can charge your cell phone right in the top of it. We've got our nice kitchen window that opens up, venting that stuff all outside. And then you know, across from our U-shape to the side of our couch is where our TV location is. Is this on a bracket? Yeah, it is. So we can pull this out, have it face the couch if you want. Uh, otherwise, this is kind of facing the dinette the way it is. Radio, cupboard here, cupboards down below. You'll notice there's no ducting in the floor. It's all built into the cabinetry or the furniture. And then up above here, we've got uh, you know a pretty skinny cupboard, but looks good right through there. Now as you walk in the door, you've got really what I would consider a pantry. Um, the shelves are set back in a way that there is a set of hooks in through there so that you could hang up a jacket, that kind of thing, maybe kick off your shoes underneath. But I'm using that space for pantry space. Here at the front of the living space, you've got your tri-fold style sofa. It's gonna pull out lengthwise. You can sleep two people there if they're in love. Window beside the couch, USB and receptacle behind it, and then uh, smoke glass cabins here above the couch. Just to give you a little more. Check out that big door side window in the hallway. It's my second favorite part of the trailer. Which? What's your first? My favorite. My favorite's that pantry. Not the awnings. Ooh. Ooh. We got a big top three. <laughs> we got a big top three here. <laughs> now, plastic toilet. Lots of hip space through here. The dump truck definitely fits. Shoot, right in the child lock is on. The shower. And my hands are cold. Up into the shower. I'm six feet tall. You can tell I fit here, you know, fairly easily. This radius style shower is great because whatever water's on the inside of the glass ends up in the basin. We have our sink right through here, a cupboard, and you think this is a drawer or a pop down? What's your bet? Right? I think it's a small drawer. Okay. Big. Oh, it's yeah, a big not drawer. a bad size drawer there. That's cool. Medicine cabinet here hooks and stuff behind me for towels, and then a big linen closet here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get, there you go. Good reach, brother. And then some more cupboard right through there. Now, just heading forward, we do have our separate bedroom. Now, you made the comment that this uh, bed looks small, Brennan. I think it's the whole trailer seems huge. Yeah, I think just because there's so much space here at the foot of the bed to get around, it makes this bedroom look, this bed look small. It is 60 by 74, so a short queen, but uh, kind of what we expect. We have combination shelving slash hanging in the, si uh, in the side cabinets with some storage here across the top. And then you mentioned some drawers here, Brennan? Yep, underneath on both sides. On both sides. Okay, well, we'll just do your side so we can see it. Nice big deep drawer right there for socks and underwear. USB receptacle on both sides. And then there is nice cubby holes on bo both sides as well, just to put your phone, you know, your glasses, maybe a glass of milk for the middle of the night, Brendan, just to calm your stomach. I think the, uh, the my hygienist said that's a no-go. No-go on the milk? Yeah, shouldn't have milk before bed. Why? I don't know, something to do with, it's not good for your teeth. Oh, I woke up and had like, well, 18 gulps of chocolate better, milk last night. Well, chocolate milk, you better brush your teeth before you're heading back to bed. Not happening, bro. <laughs> we have a couch here at the back, which is pretty convenient. The kids can hang out back here. Uh, separate room, so there's a door separating this all off. There's going to be a set of drawers here underneath the couch. I would pitch these silly, silly um, 
Armrest. Armrest. Thank you, Brendan. I'm not a fan of those. You're not must, must, much of a rester of arms. Eh? No, I'd like to have my arms on my chest or like <laughs> on my lap. Fold up bunking through here to give yourself a little more height um, above the couch. Another bunk here, another bunk there, and then this fold up ladder is just super convenient. You just, if you know, if the kids need the ladder, you pop it down, put it away, whatever you want to do in through there. A couple more cupboards here. Spot for TV for the kids. A couple more cupboards there. And then there's these cupboards too, Brendan. Check these out. In through there. Lots of storage for the kids' clothes. And then, yeah, if you want to use this as a bike, like a bike room while you're traveling, easy peasy. Open that door. Bring the bikes in through here. Just a great floor plan. That's the video, Brendan. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.